Hey friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In the last session, we have seen how to automate fetch the barcode details from a website. In this session, we will see about the extraction of data from a QR code into our Eclipse console. Okay, so here I have the code which we have discussed in the last session that is uh, extracting the data from the Cognix website for a particular barcode. So here, if you notice this Cognex website, so we have barcodes, QR codes, and there are different types of QR codes available along with the barcodes. So first we'll navigate to the second section that is inside this uh, 2D codes. And along with that, we'll enter some data inside this text fields and we perform the click action on this uh, generate barcode button and then we'll find out the way to extract the text from this barcode okay I mean QR code okay so what we'll do is uh, so I'm just using the same code so in between I will just add the steps to navigate to the QR code section and then I'll write the code to perform the type operation like send case on this uh, text field and then click action on this button okay so first we'll inspect the elements for the QR code section so first let's go to our code and here so till this line so this code is for accepting the cookies okay so next step is uh, navigating to the QR code section okay so for that first we'll identify the xpath for this uh, QR code section okay so I'll just inspect over this one and here we have elements inside this pan so I'm using the selectors hub and here so here click on the inspect element and hover over this uh, 2d codes and here you can see the xpath relative xpath so just copy this X path and here we need to perform the click auction right uh, so here we'll write the code like this driver dot find element by dot X path so dot click okay so next step is uh, we'll get navigated into this 2d codes and then we need to enter the data into this text field okay so here just inspect this element xpath as well so here we got the xpath and here also driver dot find element so by dot xpath dot so here if you notice by default whenever uh, we are navigating from one section to another section so this text field is populating this uh, value like um, this is a qr code by cognex so it is showing as a default value so first we need to clear this with the help of a clear method okay and then we'll send the xpath and then we'll send the uh, data inside this text field so once we perform the clear action so we use this send keys uh, method and we'll send the text like uh, this learning with Leo okay and then next action is clicking on this button so just hover this one um, as generate barcode button is there and copy the xpath from this selectors hub okay driver dot find element so by dot xpath dot click okay so now these actions will be performed and then we need to identify the xpath for this barcode sorry QR code okay so identify the X path for this barcode uh, so just identify with the help of inspect element so here you can see this relevant relative X path is showing as maze ID equals to barcode image so this value is the previous one only so here we have included this text so I will just uh, mention some indicator 
so the block which is inside the slashes are the new steps we included to the previous code okay so in the last session we have seen uh, how to extract the data from a particular barcode so this one is about the QR codes okay so let's run this one and we'll see whether that input which is nothing but learning with Leo is displaying on the console or not so once the QR code is generated with that uh, encrypted form of learning with Leo we should get the data of uh, learning with Leo in our console okay so the execution is started we can see our Chrome launch the cognex and it's clicking on accept cookies okay so now we clicked on that uh, 2d codes and then it entered learning with leo and clicked on the generate code so we can see a new type of uh, qr code generated here and inside the console yeah we got that data and this one is nothing but the qr code url which is generated with the text as learning with Leo. so here you can see in the url as learning with Leo. okay suppose if you are giving the default data means uh, like uh, this is with uh, the cognex or some kind of messages there right you can notice that information separated with percentage 20 in between the text okay so that's all about this and you can see this learning with Leo. so this is the new barcode generated with the encrypted text of learning with Leo okay so if you recap this so first what we did was so we just launched the Cognex browser with the driver.get method and then we identified the element to accept the cookies and we performed the click action and then as we have this QR code session in the second section of this category so we identified the element and we performed the click action and then for the text field so we cleared the text which is showing default and then we entered the send keys with information as learning with Leo and then we clicked on this generate barcode button so then we got a new barcode we got a new QR code and then with that QR code so we converted the URL into image with image read and then with the help of a luminance source class so we extracted the image from the particular link and then from the binary data which we got using the hybrid binarizer class so we extracted the result with the help of a multi-format reader that decodes the image into the text and from this result class so we extracted the text so along with that we'll try to print the information of uh, the barcode type so in the last session we have seen how to find the type suppose if you place the result class with uh, get so you can see the timestamp get text and uh, get barcode format so let's find out the barcode format for this now and i will run it on this again So the execution started now we can see a new section of uh, chrome with the cognex website so now it's accepting cookies and i clicked on the 2d codes and so here you can see a new qr code is generated with uh, learning with leo and here you can see yeah qr code and learning with you so this QR code is nothing but the type so here our inputs are with QR code right so the same thing is generated with the, the underscore okay let's inspect this so maybe internally uh, I think these methods are updated like this maybe let's check the X path for this ones maybe we can check whether if it is having any information related to that barcode type mm. okay so it doesn't have any information relevant to that uh, type 
just a second guys so just showing QR code maybe uh, some internal structure of the code was like that to display the spaces with underscore okay so that's all about uh, uh, this guys so here we use the Zwing API so in the same way what we did for the barcode validation we did the same action except uh, the actions what we did was like uh, navigating to the other section of the page and then uh, we entered the input with the help of send keys and then we perform the click action on the generate barcode button okay that's about uh, the zing api and uh, how to validate uh, the barcodes and uh, qr codes with the help of zing api and uh, the selenium web driver that's all uh thank you for this uh, guys and i hope you like the video if you like the video please do subscribe and uh, please share the video with your friends thank you